Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jules. That's Coda. He is 100 pounds of trouble. I'm dog sitting him this week. I'm out in beautiful Canby, Oregon. We're having a good time, aren't we, buddy? He's only well behaved because you're here. He is a lot of work. Anyway, here to give you a bit of a life update, uh, catch up on what's going on with me. I want to talk about the movie Looking for Dr. Love, my next documentary film, and then I want to tell you all about Instagram and how my account has increased by 200% in like a week or two and why that is. And also, if you're an Instagram creator, how you could have explosive growth like that too. So let's get into it. So I just got an email from my director, Peter Foldy. There is a rough cut of Looking for Dr. Love, the movie that I shot in Oklahoma last November. The intention is for them to try and sell it at the Cannes Film Market, I believe, internationally because I think that it will hopefully end up on Hallmark in America. So given that they're trying to do that for May, I'm hoping that the film will be out the second half of 2022, fingers crossed. It's really great. It was so much fun to get to be the lead in a film and like sculpt out the character's journey over 90 minutes. I haven't really had many chances to do that and there's just nothing better. Can't wait for you guys to see it and uh, I promise I'll keep you updated. You know, it's been good dog sitting this guy, just having some downtime because I've had a chance to review the latest cut of my new documentary film that I'm co-directing. Oh boy, it's a wild journey. It's all about content creation in this day and age. Uh, it does explore my OnlyFans journey and how that's kind of taken off for me. And it delves into the world of fetish clips. You're gonna see a side of me you've never seen before. And so right now we've kind of shot everything and we're just trying to like boil it down. It's like we're making a delectable dish for you and we just need to simmer it and let everything reduce down. But the goal is to have a cut ready for the second half of this year and start sending it out to festivals. This is what I'm reading by the way, do nothing. I decided last October, when I was facing burnout from 18 months of nonstop content creation that I was gonna take six months off. I'm stopping. I knew I'd still be working, you know, but like I told myself I was taking six months off. And right away, I booked that movie, Looking for Dr. Love. My productivity increased. I grew followers on all my platforms, including OnlyFans. Part of it came down to actually doing less and being more strategic. That's what this book is all about. You do not need to work harder, you need to work smarter. So I decided I'm taking 2022 off, coming from a more relaxed, authentic place. All right, and finally, I just wanna to touch on Instagram, which has just been like uh, crazy. I think I've increased 200% in about two weeks. And it's all from Reels. If you are a creator and you have an Instagram account, I mean, I would encourage you to make some Reels because I think that they're really trying to take on TikTok, which has got so much of the market share for short form video content. Meta is not gonna let TikTok win. Not without putting up a hell of a fight. This was the first one I made that went viral. Um, it got like 800,000 views. It was just about how to open your hips. People loved it. And you know what's crazy about that is I had that piece of content sitting on my phone for like six or seven months. Who knew that that would be the one that would just get all this cut through. Then I just had another one get over 3 million views and it's about how to do a good cat cow. All I can tell you is you just have to keep putting content out consistently because that video had been sitting on my phone for like a year and I just didn't even think about posting it. There is no way of predicting what the audience wants. So you just have to be consistent, keep trying different things, eventually something sticks. It's so funny that, you know, I can reach millions of people with a reel, but YouTube is kind of like a much tougher nut to crack. This is really where you can come to have a closer connection to me, dive deeper. I view this as almost like a relationship we're having. Whereas like reels and photos is just a little bit more superficial. So if you're here watching this, thank you. You are one of my most hardcore um, followers and I love that and I'm sending you a big hug. I'm gonna start posting these on Facebook as well because whenever I post a YouTube link on Facebook, about two people see it. Uh, they just shut it down because, you know, Facebook doesn't want you leaving their platform to go to YouTube. So I'm just gonna repost them here. Leave a comment, let me know if you're watching it on Facebook or on YouTube, very curious to know. And also let me know what you're enjoying the most on this channel. I would love to make more of what you wanna see. Um, from what I've gathered, you kinda just like seeing my life and the reality of it. So I've realized not every video has to be some big production and weeks and weeks of editing. Sometimes it's just hanging out, chilling. <laughs> so let me know what you wanna see. I appreciate having you here. Please like and subscribe and I'll be back with another one real soon. I love you. Take it easy. Bye for now. Whoosh.